Oh, oh, I see what you mean. Okay. Yeah. In honor of Week uh, Zero. In. <laughs> okay then. Okay then. Sure. Uh, let's 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 go ahead and do that. All righty. Um. Here we go. Three, two, one. Week zero previews. We're gonna go through all the games and find some winners for you. Rotation two nine nine three zero zero. With Navy and Notre Dame meeting in Ireland. The Irish weighing twenty on a total of fifty one. And I know that we were talking about this in the off season. I know we were talking about leaning to uh the Navy. Are are you still leaning that way? Of course. No, I, I was I was handing it off to you to oh. describe. I mean, because it was your pit. I was going to let you describe a bit more. Like, thought Notre Dame wasn't ready for the options and such. Yeah, yeah. The um, well, number one, we know that Navy is going to attempt to move away from the option somewhat, adopt new principles. We don't really know what that entails. So. Um, that's going to make it even harder for, for Notre Dame to prep. Um, like, yeah, this is just it, this is a, a difficult offense to, to prepare for. And Notre Dame is, you know, installing a, you know, though a veteran quarterback, new quarterback, um, new offensive coordinator, um, new defensive coordinator. So 20 points. Twenty and a half points. It's just, just it's just a lot to to give Navy, and we also know that the clock's not going to stop because um, of the new 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 rules. So um, yeah, I, I I love this. Now Navy's going to have to score a little bit here is the deal because if Navy gets held to six points, I'm pretty sure the Irish will find their way to four touchdowns. Yeah, so Navy's gonna have, Navy's gonna have to score a little bit here. Navy's gonna uh, need to find seventeen points. Is that a lot? I don't know. Hopefully not too much. It's not a lot, no. Um, yeah, so slow start would benefit us in this scenario, and I, I wonder if the book would let you parlay Navy and the under. If they would allow you to do that, you should. Yeah, if um, we can get the same game parlays at uh, DraftKings. Um, oh, okay, that's right. Okay, yeah. Um, depending on the juice on those, yeah, that could work out pretty sweet. But, yeah, I guess it'll grade it at a 20 and a half. I'm reasonably comfortable with that pick. I wouldn't, I wouldn't go crazy with it. Um, mm-hmm. I mean, I wouldn't be shocked if the Irish were covering at the end of the first quarter. But it seems reasonable to think it's more likely that yeah. uh, they have a sluggish a, game. A Navy first half, I I would not mind uh, taking either. Like Notre Dame struggles has like one three and out early. Navy just milks the clock, which again is not stopping. Yeah, the clock, and they're just, yeah, and the ball is, yeah, they take it, chew it up, get a couple first downs, yeah, just start. Yeah, yeah start especially, it you should, we should look at that if Navy is receiving the ball first. That's a good point. I like where your head is at. All right. Rolling with the middies in at Newbury's very first game. All right. By the way, that is. A 2:30 Eastern kickoff. Mm-hmm. All right. Rotation three zero one three zero two. UMass catching seven and a half on the road at New Mexico State. The Aggies on a total of forty four and a half here. I mean, I would lay it before I took it. Would be my thought. But UMass is supposed to be improved, so there is that. Um, I think you shouldn't bet this game. I I bet this with UMass plus ten. 
because I saw that this game last year was a one-point spread, and it was now 10, and I thought that was inappropriate. And, you know, I think New Mexico State is fraudulent, but I mean, rem- kind of well, remember, it is, well, remember, it is at altitude, which definitely plays against the, the, the minute net. Is Las Cruces at altitude? Indeed. I mean, all of New Mexico is mountainous. Yeah, um, it's about 4,000 feet. Yeah, okay. But, uh, but no, but, I mean, the Minutemen are supposed to be better this year uh, than the one-win team they were last year. They have lost this game every time they've played it, which I guess is two times, 0-2 oh, oh last two seasons. Um. I would be, I guess it's a lot of points to lay, but I don't know. I would be a bit surprised if the Minutemen won the game. Oh, yeah. This You should take New Mexico State, put the money line in, in, a, in a parlay. So then we should lay the point, or at least consider laying it. Well, I, I already have the 10, so I'm going to keep, I'm going to keep my 10. All right, pal. Thanks for that. Rotation <laughs> three zero three three zero four. Florida International taking on LaTeX. LaTeX laying eleven on a total of fifty eight and a half. I I couldn't imagine. I couldn't imagine. Yeah. What What are you gonna play? You want to? Uh, I'm play? gonna I'm gonna live bet this. I think. So FIU beat LaTeX in overtime last year. I don't like mm. that this is 11 now. It seems like it's too many points. But I've also convinced myself that handsome Hank Bachmeyer is going to lead me to the promised land this year. Um, and Florida International just fucking stinks. Well, but it's too McIntyre's, many points. McIntyre's building is still – it's a lot of It's a lot of points. A lot of points. <sighs> Laying it, laying it seems worse than taking it. Yes, it does. I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna look to live bet this if FIU goes down early. If LaTeX scores first, then I'll, I'll, I'll grab it with FIU. I think. You know, we, we, we could always do a live betting show. You know, we could always just do a YouTube live. That's right. Um. Okay. Then no. Yeah. We're safe at three zero five three zero six. San Jose State catching the thirty in the Coliseum on a total of sixty four and a half. I mean I could only lay it with USC. Yeah. Seems incredible. It's fucking yeah. incredible. Yeah. Um <clears throat> all right. I almost do want to lay it with USC, to be honest with you. I don't think the Spartans are going to score. No. Uh, unless USC lets them in the latter portion of the game. Oh, we talked about this next game before. Yeah, rotation 307-308. The Bobcats of Ohio U traveling to visit the Aztecs. San Diego State lane three at home on a total 49 half. We like the Bobcats in this spot. I bet the over in this game, um, and it's it's 49. I bet over 49 and a half. So I have a bad number. It's not that different, but um, I have a bad number here. Um, yeah, I I bet that because like clearly from the market price here, it implies that um, Curtis Walker is going to be playing. Um, and if he is playing, I mean they have tremendous continuity on offense. But their defense was terrible last year. Um, San Diego State, rather physical uh, team on the offensive line. Um, But um, they're losing a lot of defensive starters. So I think San Diego State is going to be able to move the ball on Ohio, and Ohio is going to be able to move the ball against San Diego State. 
and neither one of these teams are going to be able to stop the other. So I bet it um, that that over. In addition, I will be probably I might also bet um, Ohio money line as well. All right. Well, I don't mind grading it at over 49 and a half because if we landed on precisely seven touchdowns, we shouldn't pat ourselves on the back. We expected the team to to move the ball efficiently, and it will. Um, Oh, and we talked about this next one, too. Rotation 309-310. Texas El Paso headed to the swamp of the Gulf Coast to take on Jacksonville State. No. Yeah, it wasn't the swamp. It was the backwoods, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. Anyway, mine will still be humid. UTEP looks like UTEP laying one on a total of 52. And we were thinking about rolling with Jacksonville State, aren't we? Um, you were. I was not. What do you mean but you I, were? I, why, why don't you want to roll with them? It's going to be hot. Um, I know, I know you love that angle. I, I think, I, and I don't think it's a bad angle. I don't think it's a bad angle. Um, UTEP just has most of their um, offensive line coming back. They can run the ball. Partisan is a decent quarterback. Um, I don't know anything about Jacksonville State. Um, I grabbed UTEP uh, plus one and a half at FanDuel earlier. Um, so I'm just going to sit pretty. But, um, yeah, I know. I know. I know Rich, you like the humidity angle. Rich Rodriguez has won eleven straight home openers. No, Jacksonville State has. Mm. But no, Rich Rod was on Arizona. He didn't win all those fucking home openers. Only lost all of them. No, no, the program. This program's on eleven game streak. Hey, that's a pretty good streak. It is. I think they're gonna. I think they're gonna keep the streak alive. I'll go head to head with you. Let's yeah. do it. Yeah, I'll go. Yeah, I'll go head to head with you. Give me Jacksonville State. Give me Rich Rod. What the fuck are they? Gamecocks. What a yeah. game. Jacksonville State Gamecocks. All right. Yeah. Give me the cock. What's the one at home? And the last week zero game. Three one one three one two Hawaii. At Vandy, Vandy land 15, looks like, 16, 16 on a total of 55. I don't know. You like either side of this game? Would you lay it? You know I love my, my Rainbow Warriors. And, Tony, so we, we mentioned we gave out uh, the Rainbow Warriors uh, 150 to 1 to win the Mountain West. I, I'm yeah, telling you, pick. at at DraftKings right now, you can get Hawaii just to make the Mountain West Conference Championship game at a hundred to one. Bet that shit. Put ten dollars there, fifteen dollars. I'm sorry, to make what? The the Mountain West Conference Championship game. Right. So our our angle. Our angle in that game was that Hawaii has this very soft schedule, and if yeah. and when they make the conference championship game, you can just hedge to the other side. Well, we can still continue to do that, but they still have a hundred to one to make the conference championship game. That's crazy. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, you should I'm bet that on DraftKings yeah. right fucking fucking now. No, yeah, and you're right. I've consumed. Right. I've watched YouTube podcast, read articles, you know, tons of fucking preview content starting from February on college football. And no one is talking about Hawaii except for me and you. That's it. That's it. It's us. We're the one. We're the <laughs> one. But but the market, the market is moving in our direction. This was 17 and a half. You said it's 15 now? That Stanford game was ten and change. It's now seven and a half. I think people are starting to catch. I think I think the the sharps like me and you are starting to catch on. Um, 
I think they're going to get teabagged by Vanderbilt. Um, it's just it's just just a lot of travel, you know. They're going to get teabagged. Rip, isn't it? Yes. Um, but Tony, so when we just to just to put a button on this on on Hawaii, when we talked when we previewed the the Hawaii schedule, we said that the uh, they had this very soft schedule. Didn't didn't play Boise. Aren't going to play Boise or Fresno this year. Um, their road games are the the weakest portion of the schedule. They play the teams, the up and comers, the middle of the of the pack, um, at home. One thing that I did not notice: the University of Albany Great Danes are going to fly out to Hawaii. The game kicks off at midnight Eastern. What? The Albany kids, I don't know how they're going to get, I don't know how they're, the Albany kids are going to get to to Hawaii. Okay. Like maybe they're taking a bus down here to New York. Like I'm assuming there's going to be a connecting flight. Right. Okay. And then that game <laughs> kicks off at midnight, like East Coast time, 11.59 p.m. Those kids are going to be exhausted. It would take some extreme sports science for that team to be ready to play yeah. on the island. Yeah, Gatorade uh, is not going to be enough. A, a team that has not made the FCS playoffs since 2019, the Albany Great Danes. So, I don't, yeah, they better be having a hell of an upswing in their season. Well, yeah, we're probably going to be in Rainbow Warriors business, aren't we? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, um, yeah, the, Vanderbilt might crush them. The, this team just doesn't perform well um, off-island. It's difficult to be that. It's difficult. It's difficult. I'd rather lay it than take it. And as we just previewed Vanderbilt, or barely pre- previewed them, like this is one of their few opportunities to win a game. They're probably going to uh, go balls to the wall. Pedal to the metal, if you will. Right. Yeah, they got to try. Surely yeah. they got to try now. Yeah. If, if ever they were going to. No, that's yep. true. Um, okay. All right. That's all right. That's week zero. 